Doug and Wendy Weiner. The long arm of China is not some futuristic threat. It's already here. Today, the Chinese Communist Party has more control over what Americans can say, what we can hear, what we can read, what we can watch, than any foreign government has ever had in our history. As the one millionth prisoner to the Big Apple, we have the key to the city, compliments of Mayor Koch, the mayor of New York. New York? I hate New York. We want to get going to Toledo. Police use pepper spray and truncheons to break up the crowd. 600 were arrested. Sounds like China and Hong Kong. Oh, I don't like that view. There's too many buildings. <laughs> It's so crowded now. U.S. President Joe Biden offered a safe haven for up to 18 months to Hong Kong residents in the U.S. The White House move comes in response to Beijing's crackdown on democracy in the Chinese territory. That's right, at one of New York's famous street vendors. Oh, but you have to wait in line. It takes so long. Yes. Obviously our hope and our objective and our work on the international uh, forum is to change the behavior uh, that is happening and the oppression that we're seeing of the people in Hong Kong. No menus? No menus here, liners. It's the hot dogs, ballpark oh, style. Don't so, you, you know. have anything easier to digest? Look, it's a hot dog, okay? So just take one and let's get out of here. Oh, we give, we've, we've got, got diver, diver take your liners. Take that hot dog and shut up, okay? China nearly possesses the combination of wealth, strength, and population required to unseat the United States as the most powerful nation on Earth. Oh, Broadway's so expensive. Just go on, okay? It's on us. Oh, I don't like cats. Me neither. They smell. Tonight, blaming China for cyber crimes. You call that theater? Where were the costumes? There was no plot or anything. No time for a review now. Publicly condemn China for malicious cyber hacks and directly hiring hackers. Effectively, your administration is naming and shaming China, but no sanctions. Why? And is that effective enough? They're still determining exactly what happened. The investigation is not finished. has to make sure we communicate again and again to the American people that there is one overarching national security threat we face, uh, that the threat we face from China is unparalleled. China is increasingly a near-peer competitor. China will maintain its major innovation and industrial policies because Chinese leaders see this strategy as necessary to reduce dependence on foreign, foreign technologies, enable military advances, and sustain economic China growth. will remain the top threat to U.S. technological competitiveness as the CCP continues to target technology sectors, etc. Excuse me, ma'am, you'll have to store your package beneath the seat in front of you. But it'll stick out and I won't have any room for my feet! <laughs> Sir, could you store it beneath the seat in front of you? But my legs are longer than hers! <laughs> that no other country represents more of a threat to the United States, its economic security, and democratic ideals than China. Honey, honey, I feel a draft. Would you turn your air vent off? Oh, but mine is off. Oh, but then why do I feel a draft? And earlier, um, I identified China as the greatest uh, threat that we face. Uh, made in China 2025 is one of only a few, is one of many initiatives that the Chinese government, um, the, the Belt and Road uh, 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 Initiative, the um, military civil fusion initiative for uh, China to supplant us as, as as the global power in all respects. The People's Republic of China is now engaged in an economic blitzkrieg, an aggressive, orchestrated, whole of government, indeed whole of society campaign to seize the commanding heights of the global economy and to surpass the United States as the world's preeminent technological superpower. Can I have a 
a pillow. <laughs> Look, we all know China does bad stuff. They break promises about Hong Kong autonomy. They put Uyghurs in camps and punish dissent. We're not losing to China. We lost. The returns just haven't all come in yet. And so is China, and they are eating our lunch. And believe me, in an hour, they'll, they'll be hungry again. Mine isn't working! Me neither! Oh, I can't hear a thing! Oh, yes, sir. And you're like, no! I, you, you, the Wait, name I, of your lap! <laughs> if you look at the name! Look at the name! Can I... Let me see your business card! Show me your business card! Oh, I work at the coronavirus lab in Wuhan! The no, name I'm... of the disease. Wait a second. Wait is a on second. The building. Wait. The only coronavirus we have is in Wuhan. Yes. Where they have a lab called. What's the lab called again, Stephen? The Wuhan what? Novel Coronavirus Lab. I... What? Our headsets aren't working. Is we saw. Horrific pictures. Little two year old child drowned in the Rio Grande. The Biden administration is not allowing the press in there so, so that the American people don't see those pictures. But uh, 18 U.S. senators, we went down to Donna facility, we took the pictures. It was like being in communist China, quite honestly. I, I've been there. The Chinese Party, uh, uh, the Communist Party always has minders with you so that you can't take pictures. It, it was surreal. You, you felt like you were in communist China. Oh, well, we had to take a nap. But the Communist Party of China lies. They can lie like they breathe. But once again, the Communist Party leadership lies like it breathes, lies like it breathes. Who's hosting tonight? Joan Rivers. Now, shh. She's so loud. <laughs> she gets on my nerves. I think we should send a clear signal to